In this video I'm going to show you how to make a homemade incubator which you can use to hatch quail eggs or chicken eggs or any other sort of eggs. Um, first here's what you're going to need. So here's a, an insulated box. You can get this from your local gross, grocery. Um, it's just a polystyrene box that you did normally get the vegetables in. I'm sure they'll give it you for free. Um, I've actually fitted a glass window in there, but I'll explain that later on. It's just a polystyrene box with the lid. Um, you've also got your thermometer and humidi humidity meter, humidifier, whatever it's called. Um, you can get these on eBay for about four or five pounds. I might put a link in the listing. Um, also, you've got a thermostat temperature control. Um, these are about five pounds. You've got a CPU fan, um, which I've actually connected to a Nokia charger. So you'll need a Nokia phone charger or any other type of phone charger that you don't need, which you're gonna throw away, and uh, a fan. A light fitting. These you can buy from your DIY store. It's just a socket attached to a cable you're supposed to light bulb and then you can plug it in and switch it on it's already ready fitted rather than buying a cable and a socket and a light fitting on its own it all comes in one if you can't find this in your local shop you can buy the pot separately and then wire them together and also you need a light bulb um, I think this is 25 watts the numbers actually rubbed off I'm guessing it's 25 watts to get a 25 watt light bulb and uh, some cellar tape and scissors and stuff and also some foil tape if you have any or if you can get hold of any you don't have to use that but it'll work better if you do and then what you've got here this glass this is just sort of a, a glass window from a frame so if you can if you've got some old frames or something um, you can actually just take those you'll need two sheets because it's going to be double glazing you can actually just uh, go to the pound shop and you'll sort of get a frame for a pound so buy two of them and then just take the glass out and that's it and that's everything you will also need some spare cable and this is going to be to connect the thermostat to the light bulb just a half a meter or a meter should do. Don't need much. 